true. Now, last month, we rightly paused as a nation to honor the life and service of the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. But when the memorials were over, President Trump fulfilled his duty under the Constitution. And he nominated a principled, brilliant, conservative woman to the Supreme Court of the United States, Judge Amy Coney Barrett. Isn't she great? And not just because she's from Indiana. No, she's, a, she's an amazing jurist. She's going to do an incredible service to the nation. Now, the President and I, from very early on, we, uh, we called on Democrats to give Judge Barrett a respectful hearing this time around. But we had reason to be concerned. You might remember when, when she was confirmed to the Federal Court of Appeals a couple years ago, members of the Judiciary Committee actually attacked Judge Barrett for her Catholic faith. In fact, the leading Democrat on the Judiciary Committee said she was concerned about Judge Barrett's religion because she said, and I quote, the dogma lives loudly within you. And Hollywood elites have been criticizing Judge Barrett's faith ever since. Well, I've got news for the Democrats and their friends in Hollywood. That dogma lives loudly in me. That dogma lives loudly in you. And the freedom to live and worship according to the dictates of our faith lives loudly in the Constitution of the United States of America. So the Senate's going to finish their work on Monday. And you know, uh, as Vice President, I'm, uh, I'm President of the Senate. And I'm going to be in the chair, because I wouldn't miss that vote for the world. And I'll make you a prediction. Come this Monday night, Judge Amy Coney Barrett is going to be Justice Amy Coney Barrett. We're going to fill that seat.